Hi, I just wanted to do a quick little overview about plastics and you and make you ask uh, a few questions um, and mull some things over. In our industry, there's as you talk about different health things, there's always people with different opinions and different ideas and different stuff, and I love that. And one of them that comes up every once in a while is, hey, you know, this whole healthy fats and plastic things, like, I don't, I don't know about that, Jeff. I don't know, I don't know about what, I, I, I really am not too sure about you. You know, you're kind of a kind of an alarmist. You're a little aggro, a little over the top. Um, and that that's, uh, you know, it's it's humorous, <laughs> but it's also disturbing. But it's also a valid statement. It's a valid opinion. You know, I, I would prefer that you double check things and made sure that that was that was a good way to go. Uh, and forgive me if I'm talking a little bit quickly, but YouTube only lets me do stuff in 10 minute clips, so I got to hustle through it. <laughs> um, Really, what happens with with that issue is just two things. One, I'd prefer you didn't listen to me at all. I would prefer so much that you listen to the governing bodies that are so much better at researching that, that have millions of dollars to pour into stuff. Um, the EPA, which is the Environmental Protection Agency, um, the medical community, the holistic community, I feel very comfortable in asserting that uh, that we're finally just at one point where that may be the very single thing that everybody agrees on, that everyone thinks, you know, that agrees on that healthy fats and plastics, water and plastic is just not the way to go. There's certain health food stores and natural, uh, uh, natural health magazines that have put out some good stuff and Whole Foods is awesome. Like they were, they were nice enough to put out two fantastic articles straight from their corporate office straight from their public spokesperson talking about this and all A uh, and plastics. They focused a lot more on on water uh, and um, this and all A, but they were great. That was an awesome article. Um, but it gets really heady with xenoestrogens and MTB and this and all A, and I'd rather just try to make you ask a couple kind of, I want to try to look and figure out a couple of examples that worked really good, and the two were just olive oil and wine. Um, if you ever walk through your local health food store, you'll notice that not a single gourmet olive oil is ever in plastic. Most of them are imported from Italy and Greece. Um, out of all the people that are out there that have a lot to lose, uh, and there's some from Israel as well, and the, out of all the people that have a lot to lose, by putting a healthy fat uh, in, in glass, they're it. They ship it the longest distance. Um, it has the most to lose and can have the most damage. Uh, wine companies are have bottles of wine that are two, three, four hundred dollars a pop. Sometimes I don't think I've ever seen a four or five hundred dollar a bottle of wine, even a hundred dollar bottle of wine, ever in plastic. And you have to ask yourself, when if just a case of this stuff could cost that company thousands of dollars uh, if it shattered, or it's going these great distances from the vineyards and olive orchards of the world. Why would they not do that in plastic? And it's because it affects the flavor, and it affects the taste, and it affects the content. It destabilizes it. That's the easiest example that I could find. If you'll remember, at one point, everything used to be in glass. All your milk, your water, all that, it was all in glass. And then, you know, plastic came along, and everybody was like, oh, hot damn, this is great, this is awesome. I can put everything in this. I don't have to worry about my stuff breaking. The Postal Service doesn't have to worry about stuff leaking. Distributors can handle this and bounce it around a little bit, and it's great. But your health was never, ever even a consideration in doing this. Uh, the environment was never a consideration in putting things in plastic. That was It wasn't even in the picture. Um, but now as time has passed and plastic has been around for the better part of uh, at least 80 years, we're seeing the consequences. and. Um, uh, I don't know why in, you know, the grocery industry already knows this, and they've known it for a long time, that plastic affects the taste and the stability and things. Even if you don't want to get into xenoestrogens and MTBE and bisphenol A, they know that it affects healthy fats. They know this. They know it. The vitamin industry is the only one trying to get away with this, and I don't know why, because it really makes us all look bad, and I don't want to make the industry look bad. I want to actually make it better and give better credibility 
uh, to what we're trying to do to give our products efficacy and power and purity. And that's what I'm trying to do with Jeff's Best Hemp. Um, I would much rather deal with something like this, like a shattered bottle, or not a shattered bottle, but a small leaking uh, bottle of cold filtered hemp seed oil, and know that I put your health right at the front as a clinical nutritionist and as a practitioner, I have that responsibility. I don't get to just put stuff out there, but I also would never want to feel, I would never feel comfortable doing that. I think that's a horrible way to live if you put things in plastic and, and you know that stuff is, is compromises the quality, compromises the taste, compromises the integrity, and puts people's health at risk. Um, I would think that you would just want to err on the side of caution. If you purchase your healthy fats uh, in plastic, you know, you're trying to save a few bucks and uh, the risk is that you can possibly cause some very, very serious harm to your health and, and put yourself at risk for a whole bunch of different things. Um, if you purchase something in glass, you know, and you err on the side of caution, if I'm wrong, all it did was cost a couple extra dollars to put something in an environmentally safe package that will break down in the landfills and in the water and, uh, and your health will be fine. Um, you know, if it turns out that healthy fats and there are no problems with xenoestrogens and MTV and bisphenol A, if you do it in plastic, uh, you know, you're saying, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and take my chances and maybe wind up with some really horrible health issues and some toxicity, hormone problems, worse than Parkinson's, all the rest of that. And um, that's entirely up to you, but that just doesn't make any sense to me. And, uh, you know, if you're out there in a position to bring things in that are healthy, I think that that is a great, great disservice to uh, to people looking to health food stores or looking to gourmet food stores or looking to anywhere that's geared at providing stuff in a raw, organic, fresh form, uh, you know, in its best state. But, you know, that all, that all gets very heady. That's really nothing... Uh, you know, that's worth getting into. I think I just would really like to point out that one simple thing. Those are the easiest correlations that I could possibly come up with. If, if, uh, plastic doesn't affect the content and the flavor, how come wine companies and, uh, you know, high end olive oil companies don't put their stuff in plastic when, especially when they ship it so far and things are so volatile, uh, in terms of, of shipping issues? Obviously, you know, it's it's not worth it. It affects it. And I'd just really like you to think about that. And um, I'd prefer you didn't listen to me at all. Listen to all these different agencies, Blue Shield and Kaiser and the Environmental Protection Agency and all the toxicology reports and everything that's out there that talks about the dangers of xenoestrogens. I'm a cancer survivor, and I can't believe that people are so flippant about certain things, but... Um, that's just me, and I'll continue to refer my clients to it, to uh, things in glass, and um, discuss all the nutritional compromise that happens when you put things in plastic, um, and, and everything that goes with that. But I'd really just like you to consider those two simple, simple deals. That's like the easiest way that anybody could even think about it, and uh, hopefully that gives some credibility to the statement that I'm trying to make with you. It's not one that I hear that often, like almost everybody seems like they're pretty hip to the fact of, of um, healthy fats in plastic or water in plastic being a bad idea, but um, for those few remaining people that are out there, that's a valid question, and it's good that you ask it, and I think it's great. So I hope that was helpful, and um, I just wanted you to really think through some of this stuff and plastics in you. Here at Jeff's Best Hemp, we're trying to make a difference in the environment, for your health, and for the future of our, of our, uh, of our planet. I hope that counts. Bye.